Hey everyone, this is Battery Blade and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing my two Tesla chargers. Uh, they're both level 1 chargers. They can do level 1 and 2. So in this video, I'm just going to be comparing the EV Dance level 1 and 2 Tesla charger versus my Tesla mobile connector. And we'll see which one does better in this video. Now keep in mind the Tesla mobile connector costs two hundred and fifty dollars on the Tesla website. The EV Dance connector only costs one hundred and eighty nine dollars. This should be an interesting video. I'll try to make it as quick as possible so you can find out what I like and dislike about each connector. Something I noticed about the EV Dance connector is that its handle is nearly identical to the Tesla mobile connector's handle, or fifty dollars less, and the material feels actually the same, which is a pretty cool thing. Uh, the pins look the same, so should charge. We'll test that out in a little bit. And here's what the base of the EV connector looks like. Uh, so this is a IP66 rating, so it should be rainproof. We have a cable that is slightly thicker than the um, Tesla mobile connector cable the EV dance one on the left so that's either a good thing if you want it to last longer or a bad thing if you leave it outside in the cold now I like the EV dance carrying case because it has handles it's good zippers so it's easy to zip it back up but that does come with the downside of these zippers only go down about less than halfway through the bag so in order to get my new charger out, I kind of got to slide the whole unit. Which is not easy to do one-handed. But this is what the charger looks like outside the box. Check this piece out. This is probably the most important. So this, uh, so this piece is a 240 volt plug. You plug it into the adapter and then it has this end here, which is your 120 outlet, so you can charge it on any outlet anywhere. Here is our unit. It is glowing green. Means it's charging. There's a huge list of uh, what errors could be. Tempted to spray it with water, but let's spray it with water later in the video. Make sure stuff actually charges with it first before I break it. Or don't break it. All right, I've now plugged in our EV Dance charger cord. Let's try it out on our Kia EV6. Let's see, will it work? Plug her in. See if our EV6 will accept the power or if it will say charging unsuccessful. It said charging started. I see, even though the Tesla charger cord is $250, it does not work as well with our EV6 as the EV Dance one does. And it says we're getting 1.2 kilowatts. Now, let's of course check it out with the bolt, make sure it works with the bolt, because we have three electric vehicles here. Might as well make sure our charger works with all of them. Yes. Tesla one doesn't really play well with EV6s. Oh yeah, I forgot. A bolt doesn't sh shout out loud at me. Let's see what it says inside the car. Inside the car, it says charging is completed by 7.45 a.m. So we're charging just fine. Now I'd say the last test before we conclude this video um, would be the IP66 test. I'm gonna spray our charger while it's charging with some water and see how water resistant it really is. Now this is a scary one because if it breaks, I'm out of, out of charger and that sucks. So let's hope it doesn't break so I can make sure that this is actually waterproof for you guys. This part's scary because you can see this hose is a lot of water. Let's dunk this unit. Uh, 
I feel like this is a lot of water. IP67 is supposed to be just like rain. Okay, it still shows it as charging. What about on the connections? Because I don't know if that's part of the IP67. And for good measures right over there, it's about as much as a rain could get. Now let's see if the car is still charging on the screen inside. And it still says we're charging. It says 9 amps right now. But I don't think that has anything to do with the electricity. I'm setting the hose down so I can show you on the inside, prove that it's real. So as we're charging at one kilowatt. And there's our hose with a lot of freaking hose water. I'd say that's pretty damn waterproof. And then the inside of the charging port looks fairly dry. Here's what the inside pins look like. Not very much moisture. So pretty good watertight design. I don't know. So that is our review of the EV Dance level one and level two connector versus the Tesla mobile connector. There were a few things the Tesla mobile connector did better, like having a smaller cord or having more adapter choices and having a higher amperage. But if um, speed doesn't matter and you have the right outlet, this connector is a great connector for a good price, which it's $189 and the Tesla one's $250, so this one's a good price. And I think I have a discount code, code BLADE, for 5% off that if you're interested. But I this was my uh, unbiased review. <laughs>